Hi, Wine Club. Welcome to the first release of the season. Uh, coming to you from Mexico, I'm here with our most loyal by hand wine customer. And I also consider her to be our junior marketing consultant because she always helps me out with understanding the club and the club's needs. Uh, before I let her say a couple of things, I would just like to point out that number one, we will be sending out the new wines to you in the second week of February. There's going to be the Malbec 2018, brand new Roussan, brand new Rosé and Pinot Noir 2016. You'll be the first to get these wines and also you'll have 20% discount um, on any other purchases that you wish to add on. In take one, I poured some of this Rosé 2018. Uh, Janine knows this Rosé, and she knows the 17 Rosé, and she knows the 16 Rosé, and she knows she knows the Rosé uh, very well. Welcome to Mexico, and welcome to Bahan Wine Club. Thanks, brother. Would it be okay if I give a quick shout out to a few folks out there? Please do. Okay. So um, first off, I just want to give a, a shout out to some uh, friends that I have in the wine club. Hi, Angela. Hi, Lonnie. Hi Tyler, not you, and Bob. Hi Bob. And I, I just have a quick, uh, quick uh, important shout out to um, Vicky, who I find always super responsive and a uh, great communicator. So. Hey, and thanks Vicky, we're having the margarita for you too, as per your instructions. Now on to, on to the main event, which is a rosé and the release of the rosé. I wanted to have the conversation with Janine just because she knows Rosé so well and she always has really interesting questions. Janine, is there anything you'd like to talk about in the world of Rosé? Yeah, I had three quick questions, uh, if that's okay, Tyler. My first one is around the color of the wine. I've noticed that over the years the, um, the color of the wine is sometimes lighter, sometimes darker. What's that about? Uh, why are we seeing a change in color? Oh, with correct. the Rosés, they will change in color as they age. They will change in color based on what the grape, what grape is going into. For instance, this Pinot Noir has a different color than the Merlot Rosés of past. And in fact, this year we're going to have a combination of them. And I'd say probably the third reason why we see different colors is just something due to the vintage. As a winemaker, I'm not doing a lot of intervention, so I don't know exactly why it turns out this way. But I've noticed that myself. Why? Why is it different every year? And I don't have a perfect answer for that. No, no, that, that was great. That very, very helpful. Thanks, Tyler. Um, time for a few more? Yes, maybe two more. Okay, so uh, I guess my next uh, question would be around um, basically, and I don't know how to say this because I don't want to sound not knowledgeable about wine, but let's face it, I am. So typically um, when I go to buy wine, mm -hmm. I see blushes, Zinfandels, and rosés. Yeah. What's that about? What's the difference? I think that most of the wine in the world are at the places you'd normally shop. They are from larger production wineries, and it seems like there was a lot of Zinfandel rosé made. And that's the grape in the same way that I use Pinot Noir, someone else uses Zinfandel. And I don't know why some are called blushes and some are called rosés. I'm not I'm not sure uh, where that comes from. So uh, I don't have an answer to that one either. Right, right. Oh. So, one more question. Sure. Um, so, I've noticed that um, your, um, well not just yours, but I've noticed that your rosé um, has a, I don't want to say a high percentage of alcohol, but sometimes I, I see different percentages of alcohol. Mm -hmm. Is rosé in particular typically um, a higher percentage of alcohol? Uh, again, I'm not certain of that one. I know our rosés have, as the years progress, they probably have less and less alcohol, and that's winemaking style. Uh, and it's hard to say that there would be anything typical about rosé. I think rosé in the past has been a place where you would hide grapes that you couldn't otherwise use, in which case you, would, you wouldn't care if it was high sugar, high alcohol, high additives. Mm -hmm. um, but there's probably a trend of rosés being more in this direction of letting you taste fruit. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the current trend, and I'm not even sure how that ties into alcohol percentage. Mm -hmm. Did that help a little? Mm -hmm. uh, Thanks. Thanks, brother. My pleasure, my pleasure. Um, so we're excited to get you these last few wines. I've actually, we have three wine club shipments, and then for the very, very end, 
In summer, we're going to do magnums at Pinot Noir and Cabernet Franc, which was a request from uh, one of our wine club members, Michael, so that's coming wow. up. And in the meantime, we'll just sign off here from Mexico, and you'll be hearing from Vicky in a couple weeks. Take care.